The father of a toddler who was allegedly kidnapped in Rotorua is warning parents to be careful with security at home. James Kiff says the disappearance of 18-month-old Elisaia from their home in the early hours of yesterday morning was not only terrifying and upsetting, but also a wake-up call. He was found a suburb away at around 8.30 yesterday morning. I spoke to James, who was a very proud dad a short time ago, and just as we were about to speak, I heard a little voice in the background. That, that's not Elisaia I hear in the background, is it? Yes, yes. H how is he? Uh, he's perfect, man. <laughs> he's, he's good stuff. So, so obviously someone's been arrested and we, and we can't talk about that and we can't talk about who it is and why they did it. But what happened? You just w woke up to find him gone. Yeah, we, um, we noticed that our hallway light was on and, and that we always turn it off before going to bed, you know. And, and straight away my, my partner, Nikki, she said to me, um, straight away for some reason we've been robbed. And my first thing, you know, was to go check the TV in the lounge room. I go out, no, nah, the TV's still there and my wallet's still on the counter. And, nah, surely not. And I don't know why, but we went and checked Elisaia's room and he just wasn't there. I can't imagine how terrifying that must be. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's indescribable, I guess. Just a pure disbelief and panic, I guess. So it, what did you do? All, did you think that, that that maybe a family member had taken him, or what did you think? I, I, I don't. I wouldn't have never thought if one of my family members could have done anything like that. Not even any of my friends, because the people that I try and surround myself with are always good people, you know. Yeah. So for, for that sort of sense, I guess I had no idea on what or why or. Yeah, it's just too much disbelief and panic, I guess. So what did you do, James? Um, well, obviously just had a bit of a bit of a panic search for him in the room and then went back into the lounge and noticed that the window was wide open and someone obviously had broken in, you know. So, um, yes, after that it was just pure disbelief that someone had come in and, and had, you know, abducted him or taken him. And, and James, this is a funny old thing because I, I know you want to talk about this, but because someone is being charged and it's you know it's going to go before a court, we have to be careful what we say. So so yes. l l let's move to getting Alisaia back. What 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 was that like? Um, well, it was just pure happiness though, mm. but the, the shock and everything happened for us. You know, we we pretty much went straight down to the police station for questioning and for saying, saying our investigation and what's happened exactly, you know, and, and quite descriptive about it. So it's quite a long process to sit at the police station and tell them exactly what's happened. Word for word on, you know, the day's event or the night, how the night has started. And for us, when we got him back, it was just, I was so knackered and so tired, but so relieved, you know. Yeah, it must have been quite remarkable. What sort of state was he in? Um, perfect happy state. Because of, um, maybe my mum or someone's just gone and picked him up for the night and dropped him back off, you know. It's, he just looked happy and just looked like his normal self. So, I'm looking at a photo of him now, and I'm not just saying this because, you know, every parent likes to be flattered, but he looks like a beautiful boy. Yeah, like like uh, I've told a few other people, you know, you don't try and float your own boat, but <laughs> no, he, you're allowed been, to as a dad, been, bro. He's been pretty pretty good for us. Like a lot of people tell me how stressful being a parent is, but he definitely made my job that much easier. Yeah, just such a placid, happy little kid there. Goes by his business by himself and is happy doing what he's doing, you know. He's got a beautiful sparkle in his eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm delighted you got him back in, in great, great Nick. You must be thoroughly bewildered and confused and exhausted and all of those things. But um, I think everyone listening will feel the same way that, you know, we're truly delighted you got him home. Yeah, definitely. And the, the, the things that I, I sort of want to sort of touch base on with a lot of the media and stuff about now is just more so the, the security of homes. You know, like, I've always been a big believer in having trust in people, you know, like, 
I, I go to sleep usually with my door open, you know, or during the day the doors are always open to people. So, because you just don't think things like that will happen to you. So for, for an event to happen like this to me is just absolutely blowing me away, I guess. shouldn't It shouldn't happen the way it has, but I think it should be a little bit of a wake-up call for other parents or other people that can relate to what's just happened, you know? Did you... Now, I'm not asking you the identity of, of the accused, but yes. did did you know this person? Do you know the person who who's been charged with this? No, not at all. No, so a complete yeah, no, stranger to you to you and your family. A total stranger. Total stranger, yes. It's James Kiff, Elisaya's dad, talking to us just before we came on here.